With a look at the weather, Rich, very nice and mild. Nice and mild. Still some gusty winds in the mm -hmm. mountains and some of the high desert communities, but certainly for us here in the uh, metro area, really pleasant yeah. conditions and mostly sunny skies again for tomorrow. By Saturday, maybe some coastal drizzle, but really uh, not a whole lot to write home about. Let's talk about the Weather Watchers Network. Go to cbsla.com slash weather watchers. Sign up, start reporting. Here's some of today's daytime highs. You can see a lot of areas uh, below normal. Porter Ranch came in at 74, Lomita at 71, Reseda hit 80, 55 in Awanga, uh, 52 in Lake Arrowhead, 73 in Seal Beach, 75 in Camarillo, upper 70s for Granada Hills and Valencia as well. Take a look at some currents around the area right now. Downtown Los Angeles sitting at 59 degrees, 57 in Oxnard, San Fernando Valley, Van Nuys, you're at 58 right now. Same for the Antelope Valley up in Lancaster. A couple of clicks away from freezing up in Big Bear, 61 in Riverside and 59 in Santa Ana after hitting 71 today for the daytime high. Look at the sustained winds. Couple of double digits on the board, but really a far cry from what we had the last couple of nights. Flow still coming out of the north and northwest right now, but that's all going to change as the low continues to exit out. So there's our headlines. Low pressure still lingers out over the Great Basin. We're on the backside of the low, so still some gusty winds overnight tonight expected for the mountains and the Antelope Valley. Temperatures will continue to stay below normal right on through the weekend. There's your wind advisory areas for about uh, four counties around the area. Area shaded and brown on your screen could hit gust overnight tonight to about 50 miles an hour. That will stay in effect till Friday at 3 a.m. There's the area of low pressure continues to drop. The vorticity around it continues. Remember the air around the low rotates counterclockwise. So our earlier today still received some wraparound flow with some light moisture, but nothing that really translated into any kind of shower activity. But we are getting some wraparound winds with uh, regard to it. Weak high pressure builds in while another low drops Friday and Saturday. And again, the cloud cover along the coast is going to be so thick that we could see some coastal drizzle out of that. And certainly it may bleed into the uh, uh, downtown area as well. And then by Sunday and Monday, weak high pressure starts building in. But another low starts uh, barreling in from uh, offshore. And we could see another chance at rain late in the week. Coastal, marine layer, low clouds, fog, 56 tonight for the overnight low. Let's go through the extended outlook for the next seven days. Downtown tomorrow, mostly sunny, 71, 67 at the beach, 74 for the valley. Saturday morning. As I mentioned, for the coast and downtown, maybe some coastal drizzle from a thick marine layer presence, but for the most part, we'll start clearing out nicely throughout the latter part of Saturday into Sunday, Monday, full sunshine Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, our next best chance of seeing some shower activity. This is Thursday of next week, i.e., tomorrow, 75, 78 for the high deserts, mountains tomorrow at about 55 degrees. Time now for your shameless weekend weather plug. Hey Rich, this is Scott Levitt with the Seal Beach Chamber of Commerce, inviting you and everybody else down to the 29th Annual Seal Beach Classic Car Show this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We've got over 600 vintage cars and classic motorcycles on display. It's on Main Street in Seal Beach. The street will be closed. It'll be a great day for everybody. We've got live bands, giveaways, and t-shirts for sale. So, Rich, how do you think the weather's going to be for the car show this weekend? Well, Scott, as I mentioned, maybe some coastal drizzle early in the morning, but the rest of the day should be fantastic. The Seal Beach Classic Car Show free event, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday. I'll pinpoint the location. This is right along Main Street. Jeff Vaughn, this is right up your alley. Big classic car show. Uh, five to 600 classic cars, hot rods, antiques, custom cars, custom motorcycles on display. A massive event. It's free and open to the public. Something for everybody in the family. And again, uh, part cloudy skies with a daytime high near 70 degrees for Seal Beach on Saturday should be a great event. That is your shameless weekend weather plug. Back to you guys. Yeah.